and be really focused for a week, for two weeks, for three weeks. You know, maybe they're working out five times a week, eating super clean. And they feel like, oh, I'm doing so good. I can celebrate a little. And they choose to celebrate. They go out on the weekend. They have dessert. They kind of pig out, right? And so that's, you've reached the upper limit. And because you do this, which even though it might seem like a little celebration, it sends you back down on, essentially it follows a, like a sine wave, which is, if you remember from like school, is like this. So it's like you're going up and then because you make a decision, like picking out, spending a bunch of money, whatever, it sends you back down a little bit. So you have to program yourself to continue up, um, to keep pushing past that initial like, oh, for whatever reason, my brain's telling me I need to uh, celebrate right now or stop. And that's the reason because that happens is your brain is designed to keep you comfortable. So even though you're trying to pursue things that are by all means great for you, because it's unfamiliar territory to your brain, it makes yourself think, oh, I've never been here before. We need to go back into a comfort. Yeah, it's a protection mechanism, right? They talk about uh, like fight or flight all the time. You know, if you're not, if you're in an unfamiliar situation, or even you can do this with your with your diet, right? When you eat food, like if you haven't had sugar in six months, and you or alcohol is a way better one. If you haven't had alcohol in you know a long time, and you drink alcohol, you feel like dog crap the next day. Like you feel way worse than you did when you were a freshman in co- or sophomore in college and just going out every single night, right? Like if you take alcohol off for six months, you feel your chem, you chemically change much faster after you start drinking it, right? It's no, it's no coincidence. Your mind, your body is, it's unfamiliar now. Um, so one thing that helped me with that and just coming down to this whole idea of discipline and going down just kind of the right path. And it started with the gym, but really on the going outside was when you think about having those, those celebrations, you know, just keep in mind how, like how much time you've been consistent in being like clean or staying on your goals compared to how long you did it before you started. Because as soon as you, now you've just made that decision to, to stray away, the momentum is going to come from the eight years of conditioning you had that made you an alcoholic or that made you, you know, overweight, or that made you go the three years before that made you go out because it's three years compared to, like you said, maybe you've only been at it. Even if you've been at it six months, three years, to six months, it doesn't, it may only take a couple times, a couple fun nights out to where the next three days you go on a bender. And then that whole six months of work you just did 